never in my life yelled at a girl like this. I was rooting for you. We were all rooting for you. How dare you? What the hell was Tyra Banks thinking? Throughout her career, she has done some questionable and controversial stuff. Honestly, she has created some of TV's craziest moments that should have never happened in the first place. Today, we are revisiting Tyra's antics and why she's so wrong. So let's get into it. Do you ever just look at your pet and wonder, what kind of cat do I have in my home? Well, Base Paws can answer that for you. You are probably wondering, well, what is Base Paws? They are a leader in feline health by providing at home genetic and dental health testing. Base Paws breed and health cat DNA test became the first of its kind after premiering on the show Shark Tank. The idea was to provide pet parents with customized information that they need to meet the unique needs of their cats. You will also learn about your cat's genetic makeup. They test for all breed groups to help you figure out your cat's breed composition and associated traits. They test 115 genetic markers, 65 health markers, and over 40 diseases to understand your cat's health and any genetic illnesses your cat may be predisposed to. If you care and love your cat, it's important to understand their needs. After receiving your breed and health cat DNA test, you take a simple swab from your cat and ship it off to Base Paws. Then you will receive a digital report with everything you need to know. Guys, this is such an awesome product and you know I love my pet and I am obsessed with protecting her at all costs. So check out Base Paws linked in my description below and get yourself a kit. Use my code SL04N to get $45 off your kit. That is so much off your first kit and honestly, I'm so excited for you guys. So thank you Base Pause for sponsoring this video and check out the link in my description below. If you guys don't know who Tyra Banks is, she is a super popular American model who you may recognize from the show America's Next Top Model. She also had her own talk show, The Tyra Show, and you guys may see her on Dancing with the Stars because nowadays she's been hosting that, but she's done a ton in her career. And today we're going to go back into the past and look at some of those really horrific moments. Tyra is a very interesting person. I came across one interview with Meg the Stallion and they were both in a hot tub and the entire time Tyra was wearing clothing, which obviously this isn't problematic, but it's weird. But something I do find problematic is the fact that the models who are featured on the show America's Next Top Model only make about $40 a day, which is nothing. So Sarah Hardstone was on Cycle 9 and she actually recently tweeted that they would get $40 a day, no residuals, and they had to pay for their own food. So it's not like they were being wined and dined and all of that. It was actually quite the opposite and actually one former contestant named Angela spoke out about how they were treated on set because it seemed like the producers tried to put these models in compromising situations, whether it was, you know, withholding food from them or just trying to stress them out so they would fight and make good TV. What people don't see on TV is that, like, I mean, it, it's insane, like, the amount of bullshit that me and the other girls went through. There are times when we didn't get fed. We had to film straight through 15, 18 hours without eating. So we're starving. So then that plays on your mental attitude because it's almost like they want us to go in there angry so they can have drama. So, okay, let's starve them. Let, let's withhold food. Let's withhold water because you know how you get when you're hungry. Well, Tyra was not existent. Like the only time we saw Tyra was at panel. And Tyra never came in to talk to us personally. When the camera stopped rolling, we don't, it's like she's a stranger. If you guys haven't seen my first video about Tyra Banks, definitely go and check that out because you would see there's a theme here. It's not just the producers who care about making good TV. Tyra only cares about making good TV. And in my last video, we talked about a few really bizarre runway walks and competitions where she put these models in dangerous situations. And actually, one of you guys sent me this clip where you guys can see there are a bunch of models walking on a runway, which is like balancing on some type of, I guess, some type of 
structure because it's leaning into the water and it's a really dangerous setup for someone to be walking down that wet runway and potentially falling into the water. As I stepped on it with one foot, I like slid. Back when I used to watch America's Next Top Model, I used to think that Tyra was some type of motherly figure or a mentor to the other models, but it's quite the opposite because as soon as the camera's cut, she is out the door. She truly only cares about making good TV and something entertaining, and she uses people's traumatic experiences to exploit them for the camera. We need to talk about Kaylin because she actually had a friend pass away while she was there, and they decided Decided it would be a good idea to take her to a graveyard and do a full graveyard photo shoot. Oh, that's where we're going. I'm sitting next to Kayla, and she immediately just folds over and starts falling. <laughs> Kaylin is not having too much fun. So right away, Kaylin is super triggered by this situation. And I mean, who wants to go to a graveyard, especially when you are mourning the death of your best friend? It's just a huge reminder. And see how uncomfortable she is in this clip. It's really messed up. I mean, I know nobody knows the circumstances, but I just don't want to be here. And then there were seven. And in the world of modeling, anything can happen at any time. We've got lust, sloth, gluttony, envy, wrath greed and pride. These are the seven deadly sins. And with seven of you here today, each and every one of you are going to have to portray one of these deadly sins while looking deadly gorgeous. Well, I hope none of you are afraid of tight and confined creepy spaces. Follow me. Honestly, I understand the premise of the photo shoot. I mean, seven deadly sins, it's been redone so many times, but why do they have to be at an actual grave site? Like, that's just too freaky for me. And it makes me think that these producers knew what was going on and wanted to put her on the spot for good TV. It took everything in my body not to just give up right at that moment. Today, you girls are going to have to portray one of these deadly sins at the bottom of this eight foot grave. My mind just is blank. I literally just blank out. Kaylin, you okay, honey? Yeah. What's wrong? You want to talk about it? Nope. Do you guys know what's wrong with Kaylin? She had a friend that just died from high school. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Do you need a minute, like, to, to start hair and makeup? Yeah. The way that Mr. J is talking to her just really puts a bad taste in my mouth. Like, he's acting like he doesn't know what he's doing, but they know exactly what they're doing. And, of course, she had a breakdown later on because of everything. <laughs> you have to look at this one. The challenge for you. Your personal challenge. It is so hard to watch Kaylin in that moment because she's obviously super upset and hurt and we can all relate to losing someone. So watching her mourn on camera is really difficult, but she did end up winning that challenge, which in my opinion, I feel like Tyra just rewarded her for giving them good TV. And honestly, if you think about it, it's like they don't always keep the best models. They keep those who are best on TV and providing a show. And if if they if they aren't, they will get them out of there and maybe put up a bad picture of them or whatever. Kaylin. Kaylin was having a really hard time because she just found out that her friend died. But she brought it in the picture. She delivers. She really delivers. This is another great one. Now let's switch gears and talk about Tiffany Richardson, who I know you guys already know who that is because she was the model that Tyra Banks was screaming at in one episode. I'm going to go ahead and play a clip right here of the beginning of this scene and then we'll talk about it. No, you can't change what? I'm sick of crying about stuff that I cannot change. I'm sick of being disappointed. I'm sick of all of it. I'm not. You're thank not sick you. of being disappointed, yeah, Tiffany. Obviously, I am. No, you're not. If you were sick of being disappointed, you would stand up and you would take control of your destiny. Do you know that you had a possibility to win? Do you know that all of America is rooting for you? Do you know that? And then you come in here and you treat this like a joke? You come in here and look at that and say, I can't read that. You read 
ten times better than half of those girls over there. You did. You did. And you come in here with a defeatist attitude. I don't have a bad attitude. Maybe I am angry inside. I've been through stuff, so I'm angry. So Tiffany is obviously super defeated, and I've seen people like Tiffany before, who they lose, lose, lose again, and they're just numb, they're hopeless, like why cry over this loss because I've already lost so much? But of course, Tyra Banks uses her as an example and a way to make good TV. And honestly, she does seem really like I don't know, emotional in this clip, and maybe she was invested in Tiffany's life, but I really saw this as an opportunity for Tyra to go and again, make good TV, make a huge dramatic moment about herself. And honestly, it is super iconic. Yes, but it's not, this is not, be quiet, okay, Tiffany. Everybody, be quiet. Like that. That's what is I'm wrong with you. Help, you're Stop not it! You. I have never in my life yelled at a girl like this. When my mother yells at this, it's because she loves me. I was rooting for you. We were all rooting for you. How dare you learn something from this? When you go to bed at night, you lay there and you take responsibility for yourself because nobody's going to take responsibility for you. You roll in your eyes and you act like this because you've heard it all before. You've heard it all before. You don't know where the hell I come from. You have no idea what I've been through. But I'm not a victim. I grow from it and I learn. Take responsibility for yourself. The drama, I cannot. Holy crap. I mean, every time I hear that, I feel like I'm being yelled at, and I can't even imagine how Tiffany Valent, like, I don't know. I feel like this show is so damaging to your reputation, but we'll talk about that in a second, because I want to talk a little bit about the Tyra Banks show, because we actually heard from some employees before that she did not treat them right. Honestly, is this even surprising at this point? But one year on the Tyra Banks show, she decided to give her staff members McDonald's cheeseburgers in lieu of holiday bonuses at their Christmas party, which again, let's back it up. So a lot of people get a, like a holiday bonus every Christmas because, you know, you've got your family and gifts and it's just the holidays and it's end of the year. So it's nice to give your employees a little extra money. But Tyra thought that it would be um, it would be just fine to give them McDonald's cheeseburgers at their holiday party instead of their bonuses, which I had to read this a few times and I was like, what the hell? I can't even begin to imagine. And honestly, I've heard that Tyra Banks is very cheap. When the Tyra Banks show was canceled, she supposedly went to the media and told them about the show's cancellation before telling her staff, who a lot of those people moved their lives across the country from LA to New York for this show. And Tyra doesn't care about these employees. She cares about the media and how her reputation looks. Now let's switch gears and talk a little bit about Angela because she actually tried getting onto the show and she didn't get on at first, but her second attempt, she did get on and she claims that this show ruined her reputation. I had been on the show two prior times, uh, cycle 12. I didn't make it into the house and I came back for cycle 14 and I placed top three. I couldn't book work after cycle 14 uh, because of how I was portrayed. People viewed me as, oh, she's ghetto. Oh, she's a Oh, we can't work with her. She's impossible to work with. So like Angela said, her reputation was ruined from the show and nobody wanted to work with her. She actually ended up suing Tyra Banks for the mistreatment that she went through and claims that she's the one to blame for her bad reputation. She said that Tyra exploits women Period. Once she gets out what she wants from you, then you're done to her. You're nothing. She preaches on TV that she's just like you, that she helps girls, but she doesn't help girls. She exploits them. So Angela actually ended up winning cycle 17, but she actually had her title taken away from her because some things from her past came about. Then he's like, um, okay, so we're just going to fly out to North Carolina and you just see how you, you know, like going out on dates. But when I get there, it wasn't that at all. It was, it was, <laughs> I did some things for money that I'm not proud of. It was, it was escorting. I honestly hate when people judge other people's careers or their path or the type of work that they do. I mean, it's just like so disrespectful. And who are you to go and judge someone for doing whatever they want with their body? And Angela actually shares that she didn't do it that long. She didn't like become the, some super escort. So why would they go and take her title away from her? I didn't even do it for a long time. I was gone a month collectively out of the month, three weeks at best. 
at best. So it was a stupid decision that I made and and then it, it came back to bite me with them decrowning me and it it was it was awful because it kind of it, it kind of made me feel shameful it made me feel like that I should be ashamed of this thing that I did because now look I'm being I'm being punished for it when I re realistically I only I only escorted for 3 weeks so like Angela shared, she did this for three weeks. And of course, Tyra shamed her for it and made her look so bad for everything. And Tyra really doesn't like to uplift people. I mean, again, she claims that she's trying to help girls out, yet she's constantly exploiting women online and making them go through terrible situations. We need to talk about this cancer survivor who went on the Tyra Banks show and she was treated like crap. So a 39-year-old single mother of two named Jody had stage four cervical cancer and lupus. And she went on to the Tyra Banks show for a makeover episode to take her and make her feel good about herself. You know, get her dressed up, get her done all, you know, cute and stuff and just make her feel great. But Jody went through hell on the Tyra Banks show. She brought her kids to the show. She had two children, one of them a 10-year-old blind kid, and they're not allowed in the back backstage. So they actually left the kids on the curb during the entire filming of this show and then after the show they decided to take everyone to the airport where they had to sit there for eight hours before their flights and don't even get me started on the makeover because the way they did her is so dirty jody actually shared that the tyra banks show producers gave her a script and told her what to say um they dressed her up and put her in some like new dress and some makeup and some new hair which the hair is the most traumatic part of it all. So actually Jody had some hair growing back because she lost her hair and then she spent some time growing it back. But guess what Tyra did with her new hair? So Tyra decided to give Jody some extensions, but these extensions had to be surgically removed in the emergency room after Jody's scalp became infected. She said she spent months growing out her hair after chemo and that the extensions ruined it because Tyra wanted to have a selfish makeover moment on her show. And of course, as soon as Tyra was done with her, she was out the door. And it just shows me that anyone's disposable to Tyra, which is really concerning at the end of the day. But we need to talk, <coughs> God, we need to talk about her MLM because I have been, oh, I've been waiting to talk about this because it is a total wreck. Truth, without makeup, I would have never been a supermodel. Natural beauty is unfair. I mean, okay, just think about it, okay? I don't wake up with naturally sculpted cheekbones. I paint them on. I believe that makeup's the great beauty equalizer. If you guys don't know what an MLM is, it's a multi-level marketing scheme. Uh, there are some examples. Let me think. There's like Mary Kay. I think Avon was one of them. There are like there are leggings at one point. There are a bunch of MLMs there. And pretty much you get people to work for this company. But in reality, the people who are working for the company, they are under the impression that they are their own boss. They're a CEO. They're a business owner. But really, they're losing a ton of money to this company. And the goal is to get more people to work for it under you so that you can make more. It's honestly really dirty and disgusting. So guess what guys? Tyra Banks decided to create her own and call it Tyra Beauty. And she called the people who are under her in the MLM beauty tainers and they would have to buy her products from her and then sell them to the world. So Tyra is trying to sell this as a way to empower women and get them to be their own boss. My goal is to help you be the CEO of your life. You can start your own business by selling Tyra Beauty products, which is a your own business if you're selling Tyra's products? Not really. Tyra Beauty hits every red flag for an MLM. It's like these people, these like celebrities don't think we're smart. They literally think we're idiots and we're going to fall for this stuff. I mean, Tyra even said in her promotional video that she went to Harvard to create this company for everyone. And it's just absolute BS. And now it's time for me to tie you over. Let's get down to business. Two years ago, I graduated from Harvard Business School's Owner President Management Executive Education Program. And so many people were like, why the heck did Tyra go back to school? Really, though, does anyone believe that Tyra went to Harvard to create this company? I mean, seriously, I think I saw a picture of a dorm in that montage. Like, she did not live in a dorm. She's absolutely lying to everyone. I went to Harvard so I can build and lead this cosmetics experience. 
Tyra Beauty is a 100% self-funded startup to give you the power to make your dreams come true. My goal is to help you to become the CEO of your life. What I call CEO, you sell it. AKA, be your own boss. So there's one last America's Next Top Model scene I want to talk to you guys about. And pretty much there is a model named Kayla and she is being asked to be in this photo shoot with a guy and they pretty much have to kiss the guy. Like we really kiss them? We want to have a moment. Do you know what I mean? That sexual charged tension moment. I wasn't totally thrilled that we'd be joining in a kiss. I instantly was not happy at all. I just can't get this whole kiss thing out of my head. It was deeper to me than just being gay. I feel personally uncomfortable with intimacy with men. So immediately Kayla is super uncomfortable because she's actually been essayed by a guy in the past. So getting physical or intimate with a guy on camera really makes her uneasy. And the way that Mr. J, oh my God, Mr. J could have his own video the way that mr j like manipulates her and makes her feel so guilty for not wanting to do this is so disgusting because it's so inconsiderate how they're taking someone who's obviously really vulnerable and just like I'm completely exploiting them you're cool with this though right you're not cool with it why does it bother you when i was 11 i um was and this whole challenge freaks me out. I don't want to kiss them. I don't want to interact with them. They scare me, and I really don't want to do it. Just dealt with it on my own. Just your, no one knows your family? Nobody. Not one family member knows. Not one friend knows. It's like, if you're t saying to me right now, you'll throw away jobs if you've got to kiss a guy, and you can't go through the rest of your life with this. You really can't. You have to deal with this. Okay. Again, Mr. J is so disgusting for that. Even though he did write a book talking crap about Tyra Banks, he is just as guilty as she is. There is still so much out there about Tyra Banks. And if you guys want me to make another video, here is my email below. Or if you have any other video ideas for me, there are so many ideas out there. And I can't wait to talk about Oprah and Court Gamble and Howard Stern and all these other people. I've been working so hard on my content. So thank you guys for watching this video. Let's go ahead and open this PO Box package item. Um, actually, I actually don't know where it's from. It looks like it's from Jamaica, New York, and it says return warehouse, which I'm like, wait, return warehouse. What does that mean? So let's just go ahead and see what is going on in here because I really don't know what this could be. But thank you so much. Whoever sent it to me, maybe we'll figure that out. Um, watch it be like something like I did, like not even like someone sent me like something I've had. What is this? Oh, I'm always so scared, guys. Like, what if I get something really freaky? Um, Whoa, okay, wait, this looks cool. Okay, I don't see a letter yet, but maybe there's a letter inside of this. There is some like Asian writing on it. I'm not trying to be offensive, like Asian writing. That's not bad, right? I, I just can't tell the language. But see, like there's some, and there was some on the box too. So it looks like it is from some Asian country. And what is this? Viva by Mother Nature. Wow. Uh, let's go ahead and see what's going on in here. Um. Oh, <gasps> Oh my God, are they crystals? So it looks like there is like, oh my gosh, this is so pretty. Wow, she's a model on her own. Let's see what this is. Oh, wait, wait, see, so open it. Oh, happy birthday, Sloan. <gasps> Look at these people sending me a birthday thing. Uh, you're so sweet. Um, Happy birthday, Sloan. Hope this year and the ones to come will be blessed with only amazing birthdays, celebrating the beautiful person that you are inside and out. We are excited to announce that we are right around the corner from launching our first ever product that we've been working on for the past year. Aw, to make your birthday more special, we have picked you, Sloan, to be one of the first ever to receive it. Oh my gosh. We have also um, customized the product with a little special message for you. <gasps> Thank you so much, Viva by Mother Nature, which everything will be linked below. That is so sweet. What a sweet letter as well. And look at the pictures and everything. So cool. So let's go ahead and see what this is. I'm not entirely sure, again, what this is. We've got another card right here, which is super cute. Then we've got, it looks like this is maybe the, like some, some example of the product. Oh! So it looks like it's some type of like light thing. Okay, let's check this out. I have to say this packaging is next level. I mean, look at this bag, like the cutest bag here for the freaking crystal. There's a ribbon in here too. And then it looks like there's a charger right here because what they sent me is like this box thing that has my name on it. It literally says the king of... Why does it make that noise? The king of hot tea. Maybe I turned it off and turn it on. And then you get this crystal and you put this crystal inside of it. Hold on. 
maybe it's like not fully charged, but oh, look at that. I kind of want to like turn down my lights so that we could really get the full effect. Holy crap, guys. Look at this. Oh, what? Oh, okay. I'm doing something wrong. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm doing something, but it's literally, there's so much to unpack here. It's also a speaker. Like it's literally a Bluetooth speaker. There's like a speaker at the bottom. So this is just so pretty. It's so vibey. Like I can totally, like, I'm not like a big, like Bluetooth speaker by my bed type, but this is just like so pretty by the bed. Like, look at that light, like such a good night light and also a speaker. Like what is going on here? Here's the button. As you guys can see, I'm turning it on and off. I think when you hold it is when it does Bluetooth, but this is so pretty. And it says, Viva by Mother Nature, and I'm so happy to have gotten this. It is so cute, guys. You should definitely go and check it out. Like, I'm not even playing. Like, this is amazing. And I'm so impressed by this company. So congrats to you guys. So awesome. I love to see it. So thank you so much. And I'll see you guys in a new video soon. Bye, guys.